All right, folks, here's an update, quick update for Willie's project number one. I got some new RC four wheel drive adapters, spacers. Uh, they seem a little beefier than the June facts that I've been using. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna take off the wheels, take off the wheel nuts, use your wrench or just cross wrench that they come with. Um, take that off and I'm gonna take the wheel. Open up this package and they look to be nice aluminum plus they fit more over the rear axle so I think it's a better transition as far as the looks they're, they're going to make the axles look more scale since I had to space out the axial axles for the right width on these bodies. All right. um, the June facts just are held onto the axles by a drive pin. Whereas these new RC four wheel drive adapters, I have to use like the stock axial wheel hubs and then these fit over them. So now I'm putting back one of the stock black axial wheel hubs. And then I gotta use a small wrench to tighten that up. I did put some uh, thread lock in there so that it doesn't back out. So put that in through the drive pin and then tighten down the screw. I did get some new adapters, wheel hub adapters for these wheels. The ones I'm cur currently using are three millimeter. So I ordered a six millimeter, but for some reason, uh, the hole, inner hole on that six millimeter is not as big as on these three millimeters, so I cannot use the screws that these wideners come with to attach that. So I might have to drill out those six millimeters before I can use them. So now after I've put in the adapters, I did use one washer on the inside of the adapter to pull it out of the axial axle so that it doesn't rub on the inside it just spaces it out slightly you know one or two millimeters so now I reattach the wheel and tire into the widener and used a little bit of thread lock to go into the screw or nut that it comes with so that way it's held in place there are it's pretty good thread engagement so it's not really a problem but I just wanted to use thread lock so it doesn't back out on the trails. Uh, and then tighten it down. The stock tools that I have and carry normally with me don't work because this, this hub is a little bit bigger than normal. So I had to use an eight millimeter box wrench. So tighten it down and for good measure, a little bit more tight just so it doesn't back out. Test rolling the tires to see um, and it looks like a great go and then just do the exact same thing on the reverse side uh, again uh, I still need that eight millimeter hub adapter spacer for these wheels um, but I have to drill it out slightly because the nut that it comes with is a little bit bigger in diameter that it won't fit into that as always thanks again for watching and please subscribe Appreciate it.